Peggy 12. Hey everyone and welcome back to A Journey Through Midra, the series from us at 505 Games where we talk about all things Rogue Spirit. In this episode, we're delving deeper into version 0.9 and checking out what's in store before 1.0 releases in a couple of months. Sounds cool, right? My name is James and this is Rogue Spirit. As you may have seen on Steam, we have updated the Early Access Roadmap and have added two new pillars, April and June. As you can see in April, we are introducing two final new characters, a new biome, a new boss and a load more that we'll get onto in just a moment. In June, we are launching version 1.0 which will include run modifiers, secrets, a new skills loop, and loads more. And I can't wait to share all this with you soon. But first, let's introduce you to your new characters, Harpooner and Chief. Harpooner isn't your typical ranged character. Using a makeshift crossbow, he can shoot and aim his power shots with immense precision, making his primary attack deadly. His secondary attack will be familiar to fans of Slicer and Reaver. It's a hook shot, which when pulled off will attach to the opposing enemy and pull them closer. Perfect for those pesky ranged characters. Chief is an experienced war chief and is exceptional at dealing and taking damage. For all you hack and slash fans, Chief should be in your arsenal. His primary attack is a heavy axe to the enemy's head. Nice and simple. But his secondary is a little different. Using both axes as boomerangs, Chief will throw them, causing them to spin and damage whoever is in his path. So as with update 0.7, we're introducing a brand new biome, the Divine Peak, a dangerously beautiful mountainous region that embodies the spirit of the kingdom. With a new area comes a new boss, the Demon King, the master of the peaks and one of our toughest bosses to date. Honestly, it took me about seven times to take him down the other day. So here's a tip, beware of his huge sword and more importantly, the elemental tornadoes. We've improved so much of the gameplay over recent months that we wanted to add more options to fit different play styles. And as such, we're introducing two new familiars, Vina and Kanda, as well as a number of new skills, including the Frozen Orb, the Electric Trap, and my personal favorite, the flamethrower. We've also made a few combat and gameplay rebalances that we think you'd like, as well as an ability to heal in the spirit bridge that we introduced in 0.8. So that's it for this episode. On a final note, if you've missed any updates, or want to relive our journey through early access, then you can check out all our videos on the 505 Games YouTube channel. We'll be back with more info about 1.0 soon, so keep an eye on our social channels and, of course, on the Steam forums. Thank you again for hanging out with us today, and I'll see you in Midra.